for you. If you're a true fisherman, then guess what? You recognize this. Yes. I've had this for 45 years. I'd say safely 45 years. What it says, if you don't know, this is the Ron Poe Peel Pocket Fisherman. And today's wolf tail is going to be how this still works. Well, sort of. <laughs> this thing is so old. This actually was used day, like almost daily, or let's put carried with me almost daily. I grew up, I was very fortunate, I didn't grow up on the mean streets of New York City. I grew up spending my time outdoors, on horseback. Me and my cousin had horses. Of course, I had them, and then he got one because I sold him an old pony of mine. We were big into trail riding. I'm telling you, trail riding. We'd leave at 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock in the morning. We didn't come back till 5 o'clock in the afternoon. And I wish I had some footage to pat, patch in, but the only thing I've got is old Super 8 movies my dad made. This is the Ron Popeil Pocket Fisherman. It's a little spin caster. What it did is I just put this on here because I was sitting here casting it. This folded in. It had a little belt clip here. Okay, the drag washer really just backs up on you. I mean, this was used, but never abused, just like my tackle today. It had a place where you can snap it on your belt. So anything that has a belt clip, you know I'm all over it, even when I was 10. This folds. It's got a little tackle box right there. And yeah, I used it. I had split shots hooks in there. Uh, we used to keep these, both of us. I doubt my cousin still has his. I really doubt it. He wasn't as into it as I am. Like, I'm a fishing guide. He's an insurance agent. <laughs> okay, there you go. This was perfect for keeping in saddle bags of our saddles on our giant 50 mile rides. We had horses that would do anything. Anything. We asked. They were so well trained. At least mine was. Uh, and what we do is there was a, a good moving water creek near where we used to ride. We used to ride through state parks. Thousands and thousands of acres of state parks. We used to walk into this creek and the horses loved it because it would be hot and buggy and everything. And we'd walk into the creeks up to their bellies and they'd cool off and they'd drink and everything. And we'd pull out our Ron Poe Peel pocket fishermen's and bait it up with little worms or pieces of corn. And I've caught carp and catfish off the back of the horse with my Ron Popeil pocket fisherman. And a funny story is, I'll tell you, a little tale from those days. One time we were in this creek, only because we walked along a steep ridge and I mean, it went down like that. And of course, trees are all growing. And we're walking along this trail that is between trees. And you had to, I had to lift my legs up, pull the stirrups up, because the horses would barely get through it. It kind of dead ended, because it was a footpath for humans. And we weren't even supposed to be there. So down we had to go, and at the bottom of this, 
steep, steep leaf covered slope. And I mean, in my mind, it was so steep. Of course, my horse was well, well trained. I mean, dropped the reins and, and he'd do almost anything I wanted him to. I could talk to this horse. We turned, I pulled back, I leaned back, held onto the horn of the western saddles that we always used with big saddle bags. I mean, we looked like two cowpokes. And turned my horse, his name was T.L. He sat on his rump and we slid down in between trees and everything, sliding down and came to the bank of this creek and I just went, go! And he jumped into the water and I'm telling you, it was like up to his withers, which is right here where the base of the neck comes down. And he's, oh my God, he's paddling sort of. And then he, he hit hard ground. And we're standing there and I turn around and here comes my cousin. And I'm telling you, this is probably 75 to 100 feet sliding down the slope. And then it just came to an abrupt stop and there's the bank. And the horses needed to come down and just go for it. Well, of course, I'm looking at my cousin and he's having all kinds of trouble and everything. And we turn around. I turn around as I'm standing in the creek with my feet up on his neck to keep from getting so... I didn't want my, my boots and everything to get full of water. And here comes a whole bunch of canoers. <laughs> and they're like paddling. And I'm standing right here, sitting on the horse's back. And then I told my cousin, I said, I think I see some. I think I see some. And I meant fish. And I start reaching for my rum po peel pocket fisherman. But problem is, I forgot. I think we used up all the bait that earlier that morning. So, that's a wolf tail. There you go. That's a wolf tail. When I was not only a pretty staunch angler, I mean, avid, but I was also a horseman. Thanks for watching. Very, very simple. You can find these around today. Oh my gosh, look how simply put that was together. What? This was what? Oh, look at that. It was held together just by this piece going into there. Uh, here we go. Who let them dogs out? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah.